helping up. You know, I feel for her. I, I, yeah, it brought me to tears because I can relate. You know, like she, she feels lonely. She, she, she feels like nobody's there. Like it was sad. It was very sad. And I reached out to her, and she said thanks. And um, it's sad. I yeah. didn't even know she had to go through all that. So I need to be a better friend. Yeah. yeah, I I kind of felt for her during that scene. Yeah, well, I feel like karma already got me because I twist my ankle at the basketball game three times. People still asking me; they think I faked the injury, and I'm like, three till this day, my ankle is still swollen. So that three right. times, people think, oh, like I just did it just for show. No, <laughs> my foot was really hurt, and still is. It hurts. Wow. And I, I I remember I reached out to her and I was like, I'm so sorry, Adriana. Like, I remember in the Bahamas, we didn't make fun of her injury, but it kind of seemed like, you know, we we didn't really... You understand what I'm saying? But yeah. I told her, I said, now I know exactly how you felt and I'm so sorry because I believe in karma. I'm like, maybe that was my karma. <laughs> to get but another I I... injury. Yeah, but again, we didn't do it on purpose, you know, so... Yeah, but I got the same thing she got, and then I had to like it, it was it was very bad. Yeah. Well, we're, we're not. You don't people to question that. That's even worse. Like you they guys think you I'm faking. that fake? Like I'm so fake? I'm gonna fake injuries? Like I don't freaking need storylines. What you see, what you get. Even opening my mouth, that's what you get. Have a lot of people accused you of that, of like wanting extra camera time, faking, right, faking just in general things, just faking drama just no, to get in front of the camera? I never, I never see that before. It's just from that scene from last night, I was getting not a lot, but just a few messages like, oh, you, you, you faking your injury because you see Adriana did it last year, you're doing it too. And I'm like, I believe too much in karma to fake injuries because when you fix up, in reality, you putting that out in the universe and then it's going to come to you. So if I need to think of anything to put out there, I need to put in the universe that I need a husband and then maybe the husband will come. I wouldn't put all my energy in like faking injury and eventually, boom, my leg really broke. And then now what do I do? So I, I don't I don't play these little games and I are, play a lot of them. Are you dating anyone now? You mentioned a husband. Is there anyone you say you're single, but you let's put out for the husband is, you know, Anything going on? Well, I am I am talking to someone. Um, he's fairly new, and um, he lives in Bel Air, and that's all the information I can give. Bel Air ain't bad, honey. That's not too bad. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes, and then when things get a bit more out and serious, you'll be the first one to know. But right now, I'm just living my life, spending time with my children, and my mother will also live with me, and just enjoying Miami and the beautiful weather. This is, we're not going back to this because you don't have to talk about it. I'm just curious, when this was happened, this isn't actually as far as what happened, but when this happened in the airport and it was intense, you say 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, did you ever fear that, you know, this would get physical between these two? Um, I, I, I don't think the ladies will ever get to that level. I don't see it in them, but I feel like they both have such strong characters. It gets to that space where you feel like it's going to happen, but I don't think me knowing both of them, I don't think they will ever let it get there, but it was intense. It was very intense. That's because I mean there are well, other I franchises. Wig, I feel like my wig is like. <laughs> well, you you feel that about your wig, and I feel that I'm sitting here with the blinds open, and I've gone from like normal to like it is so sunny that I look like a crazy person. So we both are having our yeah, own. Yeah, you do look a little crazy. I'm I'm joking. <laughs> I'm like it's just very sunny. I guess I should be thrilled. There's so much light. Well, no, because I mean other franchises like Potomac, New Jersey. Like Atlanta, there are other Atlanta. There's other franchises where things have gotten physical, so that's good that you don't really necessarily think that it would have escalated to that level. 
I, I really don't think any of us will actually, I don't see my girls, like we will argue, we will have disagreements, we will get into each other's like throat, but as far as like putting hands on someone, I don't see them. It doesn't matter how intense you get, I think everybody can control themselves. Well, you so. should go to the reunion with a, a plan in mind to try to help reconcile Adriana and Alexia. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried already, remember? I tried. And then Adriana always ended up saying something. or I don't know. Only God knows. Who knows? Maybe some magic will happen. I hope so, because I'm rooting for them. I love both of them. All three of them actually, and Mary's all too. So let's just pray. We all need prayers at this point, including myself. We all need prayers at this point, including you, including me. You say that you know Lisa the least. You kind of find out about everything with her the same way the rest of us do by watching it. Like, what do you think? I mean, we're still seeing Lisa's, you know, divorce this season. You know, it's still going on, like her divorce. Like this is going on. It's getting uglier sometimes by the day. What do you think of all this? I mean, I just, I've never been married, never been through a divorce process, but just seeing how this whole divorce thing is going on with Lisa, it kind of makes me not even want to get married. But then I'm like, if it comes, I want to experience it too for myself. I want to have my own experience, my own judgment of marriage and divorce. But if you're looking back, if you're looking at the way it's happening for Lisa right now, I don't think anybody want to get married and get a divorce because this is insane. It's like every day it's something new. Every single day it's something new and something new. So I feel like I know her so well. Just by all these personal stuff just keep coming out and coming out and coming out. I'm like, wow, do I even want to get married? Yeah, why not? I want to try it. So <laughs> like, I want to try it. So it's dissuade you and maybe made you pause, but you would still you would still get married. I mean, because I feel like everyone have their own destiny. Everybody have their own life. Take you different places sometimes. So. One second. Hi, Mauricio. <laughs> Life take you different places sometimes. I just feel like since I've been engaged before, I've never been married. It's not like I'm pushing myself to get married, but if it's something that comes along, I wouldn't mind experience it and see how it is. Why not? You know? So, and if I don't want the husband, I'll send him back. You'll just say, listen, it's all about, I mean, although Lisa had a prenup and it's still, you know, yeah, it's it's a little shocking that this is still. But see, with this, I don't even understand this whole prenup thing, too. Like, I don't understand anything about marriage. Like, I've lived with people with significant others, like father of my children, like seven years relationship, nine years relationship, but just engage, you know, not fully going into the altar. So... Like I said, I've never experienced it, but just watching how chaotic Lisa's divorce is, it kind of scares me a little bit. It's kind of scary. What about, you know, Jody? We've even seen on the show this season, like, you know, I forgot who referred to this about like how, I mean, poor